What is Body Image Fitness? It's a weight management center. What we do is we help people to lose weight. And after they go through their different phases of the program, we pretty much teach them how to maintain the weight. A lot of people come to Body Image Fitness mainly for weight loss, but and sometimes they come for you know lack of discipline. Some people just need some motivation. We have some people that work out but still may not put the meal plan with the workout. We have some people that pretty much may think they eat healthy but don't work out. So just people need motivation. Hi, my name is Jackie. I'm founder of Body Image Fitness. Today we're going to be discussing all those key elements to what keeps you on point at boot camp. I lost 75 pounds. Losing 75 pounds with me, mentally, I was there. Because I, what I tell you guys to do is something that I do. I looked in the mirror and was not happy with what I saw. So food didn't mean much to me. Because I wanted to find the real me under that shell I was in. Or in that shell that I was in. So I did whatever I needed to do to get there. So what if I eat broccoli all the time? And I do. My kids say the same thing to me, too. I'm sick of the same thing all the time. Hey, I ain't. Because <laughs> this same thing all the time is what's going to keep me healthy. And some of you guys, you so hung up and so infatuated with food, you can't find the real you. And then you be wondering, like, why I can't lose weight? Because you're too hung up and variety. Why don't you make the team leader status or find you and then you can have some variety. You can moderately do some variety. You can moderately have more for breakfast. And that's what you have to tell yourself. I mean, look, how long did it take you to put weight on? Don't take no time at all. <laughs> but it takes some time to get up there in pounds. So don't think you're going to lose weight fast. It's about being dedicated. I know you guys are going to stumble and blunder along the way, but you can't get caught up because you're going to get stuck there. Because you be in your mind, I'm going to add these something. Okay, well then, where that body? Where? And don't complain about it. Don't come and say, well, I need this, I need these suggestions, and then you don't follow through with it. Because that's what, that's what we do in a day. So you guys should be taking this in and saying, hey, I can do this, because you can. And you may do it only good for a month, and you may fall off, but that's okay, because you can get right back up and try all over again. I'm not expecting you guys to just do this, just, bam, I mean, just, I'm going to lose weight consistently every week. No, I'm not. That's unrealistic thinking on my part. And yours, too, if you think that. You're going to stumble. But the thing is, is to get back on track. Where it starts mentally. Mentally, I'm not eating for taste. I'm eating for a new meaning because I want to find out, you know, what I look like in a size four. I know some of y'all got curiosity on what, what you look like in a six or even an eight. But you ain't going to get it constantly doing the same thing. What they call that redundant, just keep doing the same thing over and over and over, and you know you're going to get the same results. Even the little small little things that you think won't count, mm -hmm. at the end of the week, they do love it. Mm -hmm. But you'll do it the next week, you'll be like, oh, come on, now, let's, oh, come on. I can't believe this look good. <laughs> <laughs> And that's one of the reasons I wanted you guys here today as a group so you could see that you all, you're nothing, there's nothing unique about you in the program. We all suffer from the same problems. What I wrote down, and many of you guys have already put it there. What is something crazy? Cheating but not really wanting to cheat. I can't help it. <laughs> 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 I can't help it. Okay, I mean, well, that's, we can't even talk about something else. What you mean? Well, how can you? Well, willpower. Is that the word? Well, actually, no, it's discipline. Well, you're not disciplined. But my suggestion to that is walk away or don't buy it. 
you don't have it in the house. A lot of the times we buy things, we be at the grocery store, you be saying, oh, Michael won't do it. I don't buy it, I can't try it. Because you be right. If you don't buy it, can't try it. You might go to the grocery store because you got kids and tell them, some Cindy need this, and Michael need that, and the whole time is all for you while you putting it in there, right? You know what I so, gotta keep for my kids? I buy them snacks that I know they like, but I don't like. Don't like? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't buy the things that I know I will like that they like. I buy them the chips that I know they like that I don't like. Cookies that I, they like, I don't like. And, and that's what you do. When you're at your weak point, most of you guys are at a weak point because you still hit, right? You, you in the... Well, that don't mean nothing because most of the team leaders, and even me, I mean, I have weak points too, but what I do is I don't buy sometimes unless they ask. A lot of times my kids won't even ask. So I don't buy it. And then another point for me is if I do buy, I put it somewhere where I can't see it. You know how we put everything on top of the refrigerator or you get it in this one old cabinet that you go in. Well, I have them put their stuff in somewhere that I don't have to go in. I don't put it on my refrigerator, right? As far as buying them, what I don't, I just don't eat it. If I know I can't have it, but I just put it places where I can't see it. So if I went to the store, and most of the time when I go grocery shopping, I have my children put up the grocery. So they know where their stuff go at. So I don't go to their cabinet, because that's just not a cabinet that I go to. Mm -hmm. So that's a good one for me. Um, if you don't buy it, you won't eat it. Sometimes test your willpower. Walk away. You'll feel so good. Stop. slacking off and getting that 120 ounces. But uh, up to there, I think I've been pretty good at getting water. Okay. I have a lot of water bottles in the fridge, wake up, swig some, swig one down, come back, swig another one down. But lately, these last two or three weeks, my intake has been decreasing. Has it? Right. So you keep them in the freezer, you said? No, refrigerator. In the refrigerator? Okay. Um, so pretty much your intake far as getting your water in is, is good because you keep doing the same thing over and over again. It can be by way of food. It can be by way of routine. Um, and routine meaning following the meal plan or not following the meal plan. Routine meaning far as working out, you know, just coming in and seeing me three times a week may not be, be enough for your body sometimes. Um, pretty much plateau has to do a lot with you how much work you put into trying to get past where you at. Sometimes we get in this comfort zone, like if you guys are in a room working out, your body becomes stagnated in many different reasons. It always has to be the food. It can be just your workout. Some of you guys are- Train hard, live.